So let's talk about type inference. I had this p method in an earlier uh, video, and so now I can p and uh, print 5 and p, and print my name, p, and maybe my name spelled incorrectly, even though people spell it incorrectly a lot. Anyway, this nice little helper p function that takes the clunkiness out of console write line. So I can run that, and you get 5, Jamie, and Jamie. So on and so forth. Well, you notice the um, when we were using generic classes earlier, I'd say my class, and then I'd have to open this up and pass a generic argument here. And I think in that previous video, I failed to do so right here. I could be explicit and say p the type argument for p is going to be a string, or for t is going to be a string here. And so now I have Jamie. It builds and runs exactly the same. Uh, of course, if I come in here and say int, well now t is an int, and the compiler complains saying, uh, guess what? You're passing a string where you really should be push passing an int, and I will not compile for you. Okay, so I, I guess I'm so used to using this C sharp feature, I forgot to mention it in the video, but basically not having to de declare or state the argument type or pass the argument type is a feature called type inference in C sharp and there's all sorts of rules and helps that the compiler will give you when it comes to type inference and we see that a lot in the link libraries we rely on it heavily but we also rely on it in our everyday code so I am not required to type to pass uh, a type argument here because the compiler is smart enough to say you know what I'm taking this T item and it looks like you're giving me a string and so I can be smart enough to say, hey, you're passing a string here, so t must be of type string, so I'll implicitly add the string there for you. That's nice, because we don't have to be explicit. We can rely on the compiler to do a lot of our work. It takes more text out of our code, so we don't have to process nor maintain that. That is nice feature. Uh, we can't use that with types, however. So if I make a class, I don't know, my class, that takes a t, and we'll put nothing in there. I can't. Uh, you know what? Actually, we can even add a constructor. Let's let's really stress this. Uh, Ctor, and uh, it's going to take a t arg. Sure, and we'll go like that. Uh, we'll just leave it empty for now. Uh, I can't say um, my class m gets new my class uh, five. All right? The compiler complains, saying, "Hey, I'm not gonna." Yeah, okay. You are passing a five for a t, but that type inference only works on methods, not on on class types. So you actually have to be explicit here. I right, notice this one's okay, but this one's still complaining because we must pass a type argument. Okay, everything builds runs just fine. I'm actually going to take this off, try building without it, even though you can see that the colors go away and my IntelliSense highlighting. Here I have using generic my class requires a type argument. All right, so this type inference uh, feature heavily used, but can only be used in generic methods, okay, this method is generic, not inside a generic type, it's generic on its own right, okay, but we cannot use it with generic types.